Hello, this is Romeo Cat, and today I will be doing a video about installing this CD drive in this computer that I got. With the help of my cat, well, not really, uh, she came by for a visit, because I'm really the only one up this late at night, but I also have an Apple computer, which I might do a video on in the future. I got two new computers well, I wouldn't say new, but I got two more computers recently. This and this desktop. And there's my cat. That's Susie. Anyway. So, right here is an empty slot for a disk drive. I will be installing it in here. Uh, now, there's already two, and you're probably wondering, why do I am I going to have three disk drives? You already have two. Well, to which I say, why do you not have three? So, I will put it in, and then I will get back when I am going to plug stuff in. Okay, so I got the disk drive in here, and it took me forever. I had to run back up, get a few cables, but I think I got everything plugged in. I got the ribbon cable, uh, and the power cable which supplies 12 volts and 5 volts. Right here on this uh, drive controller, this goes to stuff that's already been plugged in here. And then I had, and this is very hard to do, get this over this thing right here and up and under that. And then, oops, sorry. And then go all the way back behind here and up. <sighs> and I don't think it'll work because I might have damaged something but um, I'll just put everything back the way it was before if it doesn't work so let me boot it up. okay here goes I plugged it back in there we go spinning up we're getting activity on the drive too Oh, yeah, it makes quite a ruckus. There's six fans. Oh, there we go. Alright, it's... Uh, I believe it is looking at all the drive. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's gonna boot to Windows XP. Oh, when I got this, I had no prior experience with this so you know just a second there we go that'll kind of block some of the noise i had no prior experience with this computer and it looked pretty old so i thought it would be uh like ms dos or windows 2000 or something but nope to my surprise it came up with uh, Windows XP. I got this nice Lenovo uh, keyboard. I don't have sound, so... I don't know, I might edit in sound. If I happen to have the files for it. Okay, so... It is on my logon screen. I'm gonna open the file manager. And let's hope that the third drive comes up, because all three drives have activity, even the one that I installed. And surprise! it There it is, right there. Uh, so, I... This is the first time I've ever installed any kind of drive into a working computer. Like, I played around with some wires and some old hard drives, but, like, not in a case like this, or in a real computer. So, yeah, uh, we got a working CD drive. Oh, wait, let me get a CD. Alright, so I have this uh, Dallas String Quartet uh, music CD. Now, I don't have sound, but if I can put it in and it comes up with Windows Media Player or something, I'll just declare it that it's oh geez I almost dropped that declare that it's good so let's just put that in okay 
Now, let's see if that works. Alright, so I'm gonna open the C drive. Okay, so I've opened it and all 13 tracks, let me check to make sure. Yep, yeah, there are 13 uh, tracks show up. Uh, 1 through 13. Uh, if you want to pause the video and count them to make sure, you can, but I mean, they're all there. So, yeah. Uh, let me put the case and cover back on and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. And now, here it is. I ha I took the old little uh, uh, drive cover out of the front bezel. Now, I didn't have the right mounting screws and mounting rails and stuff, so it, there's nothing really holding it in. So it sticks out just a little bit. So it's not flush, but I mean, from a distance, it doesn't really uh, look any different. Or, um, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter that much. So now we can see all three disk drives open at once. Uh, this is before they had slot disk drives like this one where you just put it in. It's what's on most DVD players, these tray ones. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you like this kind of thing. In the future, I'm planning on doing more upgrades. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but uh, what I am working on right now, I have this little LAN hub right here, and I want to set up a local area network with this computer and the Apple, and then I'm gonna send a wire from there all the way to the router right here, which I need to find the my 50 foot cable. And now I, I don't need all 50 feet, but all my other cables are too short, so... And I never get to use my 50-foot cable, so... Yeah, I guess I will be seeing you in the next episode. And I am planning on putting a LAN card in this so I can get local area networking. Thanks for watching.